My name is Jason and this is Just Watches. Okay, today we have something a bit different. Now, Modita reached out to me to see if I wanted to review their Moment watch. I was intrigued because this watch is designed to assist you in breathing techniques and meditation is something I have a personal interest in. Now, this watch is just in for loan and will be going back to the company after this review. Now, before we get to the review, if you're enjoying the content of this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And if you're enjoying the contents of this individual video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. For price and availability, this watch is available on the Modita website in three colorways with your choice of strap for an MSRP of $499. Starting with the case, it's 38 millimeters in diameter, a very short 42 millimeters lug to lug. It's also quite thin at 11 millimeters and a bit of that is this double domed sapphire crystal. And then it has a 20 millimeter lug width opening. Now this watch weighs in at a scant 64 grams. The stainless steel case has a completely blasted finish, which is a good idea here. With the minimalistic design and the focus of the watch being the dial, the case doesn't really need to catch the eyes with different types of finishing. That being said, the finishing is well executed and consistent. Now the short lugs angle down and the sides of the case curve in towards the case back. Between the short lug to lug, the very thin case, and the extremely light weight, this watch is very comfortable to wear. The stock strap that was included with this watch is made of banana tex, which is a vegan material created with abaca banana tree fibers, but you also have the option of a few other straps as well. The backing is soft, but the material feels robust and durable. The strap tapers from 20 millimeters down to 16 millimeters. The unsigned pin and buckle share the same blasted finish as the case of the watch. The strap also utilizes quick release pins which is great because while I think the strap is perfectly fine, with its simple styling this watch is gonna look great on a wide variety of straps and with a 20 millimeter lug width opening you will have a ton of choices. The exhibition case back is held in place with four screws. This watch is rated for 50 meters of water resistance which I think is fine for this style of watch. The exhibition case back also provides a view of the movement, which is a Miyota 9000 series with a custom rotor with the Modita logo and inhale, exhale, repeat engraved into it. This watch is powered by the Miyota 9000 series. This was a good choice for this watch as it has a higher beat and thus a smoother sweep than a 3 hertz movement like the Seiko NH35. And while I'm not often picky about the difference between the 4 hertz and 3 hertz secondhand sweep, in this case I think it's important for the breathing timer feature of this watch, but we'll talk about that more later. The full stats on this movement are as follows. It's automatic, hacking, hand winding, 28,800 vibrations per hour with a 42 hour power reserve and a stated accuracy of minus 10 to plus 30 seconds per day. However, this watch has been regulated to zero to plus 10 seconds per day. Now this movement has definitely been regulated because it is running exactly plus six seconds a day with zero beat error in the dial up position and then plus eight seconds a day with the crown up. And then despite having no date, there is a ghost date position. So you'll have to click the crown out twice to hack the movement. The 4.5mm push-pull crown is unsigned and shares the same blasted finish as the rest of the case. Now, this crown is definitely on the smaller side, and while I am able to wind and operate the watch with it, if you have bigger fingers than me, it might be a little bit difficult to do so. The double-domed sapphire crystal rises just proud of the bezel. The slope of the dome is in line with the bezel of the watch. The crystal is treated with anti-reflective coating, which is important to reduce glare on a domed crystal. That brings us to the dial. Now the matte black dial actually slopes up the edges of the case, sort of like a dial and chapter ring all in one. Now the markings on the dial are perfectly symmetrical. There are dashes for each of the hour positions with slightly smaller dashes for each of the minutes in white. And then there are 15 dots near the center of the dial. And that's it. I'm really glad they decided to forego a logo and any writing whatsoever on the dial. Now let's get to those dots in the center. What are they for? Now you will notice the counterbalance of the second hand has a small dot that perfectly overlaps these center dots. This acts as a timer for which you can do a number of breathing exercises that are outlined in the instruction manual of the watch. And we'll talk about this more at the end of the review. The hands are also very minimalistic with a very long white stick hand for the minutes and hours. I'm happy to see the minute hand reaches all the way to the edge of the dial, as does the long stick second hand. Now the hands are designed in a way that is very easy to tell the time, but also to use the breathing timing feature without getting the two confused. So here is the watch on my six and three quarters inch wrist. 38 millimeters is a great size for me, but I think it'll work for a wide variety of wrist sizes. And then just for fun, because I do think this is a versatile watch when it comes to straps here, it is on a leather strap to dress it up a bit. And then for even a bit more fun, here it is on a red and black nylon strap. 
So pros and cons, starting with the pros. Well, this watch has a solid set of specifications, including a sapphire crystal with air coating, a Miyota movement, etc. I love the minimalistic design of the watch, and it's very easy to read, and I actually do find it calming to look at when doing those breathing techniques. Finally, I think the watch is useful for both of its intended purposes, telling the time and doing those breathing techniques. As for cons, I think not using lube on this watch was a huge missed opportunity. I would also like to see a slightly larger crown. Finally, while it is a very minor nitpick, they paid so much attention to the other details, I wish they had used the Miyota 9039 so the watch didn't have that ghost date position. So when this watch arrived, I challenged myself to do the breathing exercises for at least two minutes when feasible every time I checked the time. The result was that my weekend was interspersed with many windows of relaxing breathing techniques. Now, you could probably do this with any watch that has a second hand, but there is something about watching the counterbalance of this second hand sweep slowly across the dots, and then that minimalistic nature of the dial, which is very soothing. So in that regard, I think they have accomplished their goal with the overall design of this watch. That being said, the MSRP of this watch lands it in some pretty competitive territory, so I think the concept and or design of the watch really speaking to you is going to have to be the major selling point on this one. This watch could also be a great gift for someone who is not really a fanatic watch collector and has an interest in meditation, and this might be the one watch that they wear all the time. So there you have it, the Modita moment. What do you think of this watch? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you're enjoying the contents of this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And if you're enjoying the contents of this individual video, please give it a thumbs up. My name is Jason, and you have been watching Just Watches. Until next time, remember to inhale, exhale, repeat.